Hey everybody, Jay here from Modern Mississauga and today we're taking a look at the 2018 Subaru Legacy. Uh, Legacy comes in a few different trims and the one we're looking at specifically is the 2.5i Touring with the optional eyesight package. This is their mid-size sedan. Looks good, nice conservative design, nothing big, nothing flashy about it and that's what I like. Just give me a simple yet elegant looking vehicle and I'm a happy guy. Well, uh, we started off with a side profile. We'll go around the rear here. Uh, looks pretty clean. Uh, no complaints really on uh, on the rear at all. Single tailpipe. I wouldn't mind a double uh, tailpipe, even if it's a dummy one. Uh, it just kind of gives that uh, symmetrical look to it to match their symmetrical all-wheel drive. Uh, we'll open up the trunk, take a look at the 425 liters of cargo space in here. So fairly deep. I uh, put your groceries, maybe a set of golf clubs, uh, a couple of overnight bags if you want to do a road trip. So uh, not too bad on that side at all. Close up the trunk. Thank goodness there's no spoiler on it. Spoilers have no place on mid-size sedans at all. That's my two cents. Uh, look around the passenger side. 17 inch wheels come standard with this. Uh, looks good. Nice simple uh, spoke design as well. Uh, integrated turret signals on the uh, side mirrors. Go around to the front. You have your LED fog lights, your Hawkeye headlights, and your LED day runners as well. Uh, cool hexagonal, hexagonal shaped grill up front. Uh, and overall, I really like the shape of the um, uh, the Legacy. Let's take a quick look. I think we can get it here. There's the eyesight package. So you'll notice right there is one of the eyes. And right there, the edge of the paper is the other one. Uh, I'll go over all the features of that once we go to the inside of the car. Um, overall, I really like the shape of the Legacy. It's it's traditional. It's simple. It's it's conservative, and for me, that's what I like out of a car. You know, put all the features and benefits on the inside, where I'll actually get to enjoy them because I don't really look at the car when I'm driving it. Anyways, we'll be right back with the inside. Let's start look. by taking a look at the rear seats on the 2018 Subaru Legacy, specifically the 2.5i Touring with eyesight. Uh, seats are pretty comfortable back here. Um, you know, as part of the, the review, I sit down in the back for a little bit and. Uh, I could do a road trip in this. Uh, I don't think I'd take the middle seat. I don't think anyone would take the middle seat in any car, but um, that's just how it is. Uh, there's a good look at the front portion of the interior of the car. Nice, simple, kind of matches the outside of the car, but uh, there's tons of technology in here. So as we scoot around and take a seat in the front, on the driver's side specifically, let's go over a few things here. Uh, first off, it's pretty cold uh, right now, so uh, heating system fairly easy to use. I like how it has the, the actual temperature here, so it's on high, but the lower you go, um, uh, the actual figures show up. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Very easy to use. Um, two modes, uh, one for sync, which is both, and uh, your passenger can have a little bit of control if they so choose. Eight inch infotainment touchscreen, very easy to use, easy to operate, well laid out. Um, well done Subaru uh, on that side just want to show you the inside of the eyesight uh, so there's one of the eyes that's on the, the driver's side and there's the other one and what's included in the eyesight technology is pre-collision braking adaptive cruise lane departure warning lane sway warning lane keep assist uh, lead vehicle start alert so if you're at a light and the car in front of you goes a uh, little warning shows up here saying well if it was me saying it I'd say come on pay attention but uh, there's a little chime that lets you know the car in front of you has moved. Uh, so we went over the 8 inch uh, infotainment system. Very cool, very easy to use. One thing I really like um, about this is uh, Gen 3 of the infotainment system is, uh, I'll try and show you. So I'm going to go to uh, my 90s on 9. And the song starts from the beginning. We'll try this one. Song starts from the beginning. Go to coffee house. You know you can't really hear it, but the song starts from the beginning. So I asked uh, Dan over at Subaru's head office uh, if it's a thing exclusive to Subaru, um, and what he said is that it's the Gen 3 infotainment system. That if you hit your preset buttons on Sirius XM it will actually start from the beginning of the song. Now, if I were to go back uh, to the 90s on 9, this song goes to the middle, or wherever it is in the song, uh, timing-wise. 
So it's kind of cool. So, you know, if you were hearing Sweet Child of Mine or Stairway to Heaven or something with a cool intro, you'll always get it so long as it's done your preset. Um, I know Honda does it. Um, I had that in the Civic a few months ago. Very cool. And I really like that Subaru uh, has incorporated that here. Uh, moving on, uh, standard feature stuff right here. So that's your uh, traction control on and off, blind spot monitoring on and off, lane departure on and off, and front collision on and off. I don't know why you'd ever put them off. I'd always keep them on. Um, but, you know, people have different preferences. There's a trunk release right there as well. And at the bottom, next to some of the garbage I have to throw, is your, uh, is your gas tank release. Standard stuff here for your windows and mirrors. And the dashboard right here, I like it. It's, they call it a binocular style, and I can see why. So everything's fairly simple. And to navigate through that on the left side of the steering wheel, there are up, down, uh, and reset buttons. So I've done uh, 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers over about 150K. Uh, actual fuel ratings itself uh, are uh, 9.3 city, 7.0 highway, and 8.3 combined. Not too bad for uh, a mid-sized sedan with a 70 liter cargo capacity. Uh, what else can we go through? Steering wheel is nice, uh, three spoke, very comfortable, very, uh, kind of feels good in your hands. Not too thin, not too thick. Uh, we'll dip down here, open this part up. So that's your, uh, they call it the infotainment hub. So you have auxiliary, a couple of USB ports, and another uh, cigarette lighter, oops, cigarette lighter adapter in there. Uh, we'll leave that there for now. I love that it's just a straight up and down park reverse neutral drive. Yes, you can do your manual shifting, um, but you put it in the manual and then you use your paddle shifters, which are right there and right there. I don't think anybody actually uses them, but it's there if you do have the inkling to do so. Uh, parking brake, electronic, frees up a lot of space, totally get it. And there's your hill assist right there. Cup holders and a good spot for your phone ends up right there. We'll take a look into the center armrest. Uh, that comes out if you want to uh, throw uh, something bigger in there. Uh, I saw on the Subaru website that there, uh, this little divot here is to put your iPad, kind of give you a little more space down there. So that's kind of a cool feature as well. Um, we're just gonna put this back the way we found it. And that's that. Uh, a couple of more features I want to go through with you are, uh, oh right, with this, I'm not going to plug in my phone because if I do it, then the Android Auto, uh, sorry, the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto uh, will kick in and interrupt the video. But it's cool that it has that very, very uh, um, good feature, very, uh, very modern, very 2018. Uh, under the hood uh, is the 2.5 liter boxer engine, four cylinder, throwing, a, throwing out 175 horse, 174 pound feet of torque. Um, the car performs well. It does what it's supposed to. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel uh, sluggish. It, it, it's very responsive. Cornering, handling, uh, performs very well. Symmetrical all-wheel drive um, really helps in the winter. Um, and it's I love that Subaru does it for all of their models. Uh, very, very cool um, that they have incorporated that. There's no additional premium fee for it. Uh, I think that's it for the inside. This could be the shortest video I've ever done. Um, I went over the 17 inch wheels and the eyesight and the CarPlay and Android Auto and the eight inch screen here, five inch screen there, horsepower. Um, yeah, I, wow, I think this might be the first under 10 minute video we've done. Um, I like the car, I'm a fan of the shape of it. Yes, people may find it a little on the conservative side, uh, but for me, I'm a big fan of that. Um, again, I don't look at the car when I'm outside of it. I buy things for functionality over fashion. Uh, the eyesight technology is absolutely wonderful and remarkable and safe. Uh, the Subaru Legacy is a top IIHS, which is the Insurance Institute. Uh, you know, I don't actually know the acronym off the top of my head, but it's a top safety pick plus one equipped with the eyesight, which is up here. Um, Last train of thought. Oh, right, sunroof. Uh, just a regular roof, uh, no panoramic, but it tilts, it opens, and that is just fine with me. Um, oh no, I think we're over 10 minutes. Anyway, let's wrap this up real quick. A uh, little under 30 grand. I think there's six different options for the Subaru Legacy for 2018. Uh, Subaru has called it their sport, sport utility sedan. Um, I don't know how much that applies with only 425 liters of cargo space, but 
everyone's pining over SUVs and crossovers and CUVs and everyone loves the Forester and the Outback. Um, so may as well play off that branding and, um, and try and get the market in there. There's nothing really wrong with sedans and its biggest worst enemy is just the body shape of it and people would rather have a little more uh, accessibility to the trunk. Uh, the ride height is fairly good uh, for a sedan. Um, but yeah, the, the, the only enemy any mid-sized sedan has is itself. But you throw enough goodies on the inside, you give them a comfortable ride, you give them comfortable seats uh, with enough power under the hood to get them where they're going and decent fuel economy. Um, and that really does it all at the end of the day. So that wraps this up. Sorry, we're over, a little over 10 minutes. Questions, uh, hit me up at j at modernmississauga.com. Uh, check out all the reviews, go to our YouTube channel or modernmississauga.com for the website. We're also on social media. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and we'll be back in a few days with our next review.